I can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. So question over here, determine the moment of inertia for the shaded area by the y-axis. And we're going to use the vertical triangle, I mean rectangle, uh, to figure it out. Right, so we're doing the about the y-axis. So if we're using the eyeball method, looking at this way, right, the centroid of y of this tiny, uh, tiny thin uh, rectangle or er, rectangle over here, the centroid is right in the middle, right. So we do not have to worry about it, which means, um, I mean, when the centroid and the shape is a, uh, have a common uh, axis, then we can use the um, this equation over here, uh, x squared uh, dA, right? We can use this equation over here only if we're the centroid share with the axis uh, that we're trying to figure it out, which is yes, we can. Uh, so what's dA? dA is I y times dx, excuse me, times x squared from zero to one. Right, but we're doing dx, so we have to write y in terms of x. So that would be y in here would be x to the power of 1 over 2 times 2, 0, 1. And now it's just simple calculus, x to the power of 5 over 5, uh, 5 over 2, 1, dx, and x to the power of 7 over 2, 2 over 7, uh, 1 to 0. And the answer should be 2 over 7 millimeter to the power of 4. Dx. So yeah, this question, uh, this type of question is really simple when you don't have to use the parallel um, axis theorem, right? That's where things get a little tricky. But yeah, hopefully this question was helpful. Uh, good luck on your studies. I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.